COVID-19, infamously known as coronavirus, is spreading aggressively across the globe. Till date, 126,000 cases have been reported all over the world. The good news is the recovery rate is very high. But to stop the spreading of coronavirus, World Health Organization and agency of UNICEF has come forward with guidelines for masses. The virus is not airborne, it is carried by body fluid related to respiratory system like when you cough or sneeze or speed. To avoid getting infected, you have to follow some rules. Sneezing can throw fluid up to 1 meters, but if we use hand and even better elbow for blocking, spread of fluid can be reduced. Best option is to use handkerchief which can block complete effluent. When you meet someone, don't shake hands or hug. To greet each other, best way is Indian style Namaste. In fact, it's better to maintain a distance of 2 meter while having a conversation. Try and avoid public gathering as much as possible. We don't have enough data yet to know how long coronavirus survives in the open. So when you come home, do change your clothes and wash hands properly with some sort of sanitizing agent. Sanitizers contain alcohol which kills virus. The main entry point for virus is mouth, nose and eyes. If you are unsure about cleanliness of your hand, avoid eating with fingers and don't touch your nose and eyes. Using mask is of no use as again the virus is not airborne. Also the size of the virus is less than 130 nanometer and the poor size of N95 mask is 300 nanometer, so it does not help. However, if you feel any symptoms of flu, it is better to wear N95 mask to stop effluents spreading from you to others. COVID-19 attacks your respiratory system like influenza virus. So if you have symptoms like fever, cough and shortness of breath, you should isolate yourself at home and inform your health department to conduct diagnostics on you. Anyone traveling from infected country should immediately go for checkup as well. If you are planning a trip overseas, always check the travel advisory of the destination country for any restrictions on entry, quarantine requirements or other relevant travel advice. Now as you know what precautions to take, Let's learn a little bit about coronavirus. Coronavirus is not a virus but a class of viruses which has spikes on outer shell looking similar to electrical corona discharge phenomena. There are many types of coronaviruses depending on which type of host it can infect. Like the influenza virus is also a coronavirus. A coronavirus has outer protein coating safely securing a RNA inside it. Inside a host body, the virus replicates itself to form more new viruses. So basically, like every other virus, it breeds inside the host body and damages the host cell. This is called infected condition. During the replication process, RNA gets slightly modified many times. And the new virus is born. The new modified virus may not have same features as the original one. For example, the spike properties may change in such a way that it can survive inside a completely different host. This way, an animal virus may come to human domain and infect. The SARS virus came from bats, MERS came from camels, bird flu from chicken, and so on. The origin of COVID-19 is not confirmed yet. But as per the evidences, COVID-19 is an adaptation of pangolin coronavirus and first found in the illegal animal market of Wuhan province in China. The infected person may develop from mild flu to severe pneumonia, acute respiratory syndrome, kidney failure and even death. There is no antivirus developed yet. The mortality rate of the infected is low. But the most concerning fact is that it is spreading very fast. All country government is taking the matter with highest priority. China, the source of COVID-19 is fighting with extreme diligence. After about three months, the recovery rate is higher than infection rate. We hope the whole world get rid of this virus very soon. Till then, please don't panic and cooperate with your health department.